Now I'm going to show you guys how to draw with two point perspective and it's a little bit different from one point perspective in a couple of ways. Um, similarly, you start with the horizon. Remember that your horizon line is an imaginary line where the, the sky appears to meet the earth, but it's different for everybody because it's correlated with your eye level. So however tall you are means however tall your horizon line is. Um, so it changes for everybody. Um, and it's just an imaginary line that our eyes create for us. On this imaginary line in two point perspective, you need two points. Those are your vanishing points. That's why it's called two point perspective. Um, rather than the one point you needed in one point perspective. Okay, now here is where two point perspective is different from one point perspective. In two point perspective, there are no horizontal lines, none. You're not drawing any of them. If you draw a horizontal line, if it's parallel to the horizon, it is wrong, okay? There are only vertical lines and diagonal lines. And remember, those diagonal lines are the lines that converge to your vanishing points, always. All diagonal lines will appear to meet at either one or the other of your vanishing points. Okay, um, the other difference is in two-point perspective, rather than like in one-point perspective, you were drawing the face of the box like this and, and vanishing it. In two-point perspective, you're actually on the corner of the box. So you're not in front of it. Um, you're on the edge of it. So you're drawing it from the corner first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. You start the same way you would start with um, one point perspective and you're going to, um, again, I'm going to draw one above on top and below the horizon line. Um, so you start with a vertical line. So remember, this is the corner of our box. So all vertical lines on both sides of your line have to vanish to both sides of your vanishing points. So I'm going to draw my vanishing lines, line it up. And then I'm going to line it up on the other side so that they're going both directions. Okay, and this is the beginning of my corner. And now I'm going to have to start to construct the back side of that box in order to close it off. And so again, vertical, just like in uh, one point perspective, vertical lines are parallel lines, okay? So I'm going to close it off with a vertical line back here. I'm going to make sure that it's parallel with my original vertical line. And then over here on the right side, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to make sure that it's parallel with my original vertical line. And then here's where it kind of gets tricky. So we've got side one, side two, and because this box is above the horizon line, we need to be able to see the bottom. Um, but the bottom has to relate to all these other sides. So you've drawn these new lines, and they every vertical line has to vanish to both sides, both vanishing points, okay? This already vanishes to that vanishing point. So what I need to do is vanish it to the opposite side. And again, with the one on the right side, vanish it to the opposite side since it's already vanishing to the vanishing point on the right. And then I have a box, see? Side, side, bottom. And you can erase all these lines that you don't need. And you can shade however you would shade according to the light source that you have on your paper. Okay? So I'm going to draw another one that's like directly on top of the vanishing of the horizon line. Again, we're going to start with a vertical line. And because this box spans on top and below, we're only going to see two sides. We can't see the top. We can't see the bottom because it, it expands past those viewpoints. So I'm going to vanish to both sides, all my lines. I 
Okay, and then again, close it with vertical lines. Remember the rule, vertical lines must stay parallel. And I'm just deciding where these lines go. I'm not, there's no, nothing telling me how big or how small or how wide these walls need to be right now. I'm just kind of making it up. If you were, you know, making a house or uh, making a train or a trailer or something like that, you know, you would have to think about what you're making to decide how wide you would have to go over to, to close the end of that box. So if I was making a train, you know, maybe I make this a lot longer. And so this side is a lot longer than this side. So it looks more like a train car. All right. And here's the, the one below it. Got to check my camera and make sure I'm in the right spot. So vertical line. Always, always start with a vertical line. It's the corner of your box. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And then I'm going to vanish that vertical line to both vanishing points. All lines vanish to both vanishing points. Okay. And then I can decide where or how big that those walls will be. So maybe I decide this wall is going to be a little bit longer than that one. Um, so another parallel vertical line. And then this one, I'm going to make it longer too. Another parallel vertical line. And then those lines have to vanish to the vanishing point. Oops, that wasn't right. There we go. And then those, look, they overlap just a little bit. So I wouldn't see this line because that's in my building. And then there's the corner of this building. And then I would erase this building because it's in front of it. So they actually overlap just a little bit. But they're still both in perspective. Okay? And then you can shade or add windows. If I was going to add windows, everything vanishes to the vanishing point. So just like in one point perspective, the vanishing side vanishes. In two point perspective, everything vanishes. So I'm going to draw my windows on vanishing lines. And then I can draw my vertical lines parallel with each other. And there's a window. If I wanted to draw... Um, a second story on this house I could just start it wherever I wanted that it's got the bottom of it is going to connect and vanish to the to the vanishing point so there's this is maybe the porch and so I can build a house or a, a second story from here with vertical lines going up and remember all lines have to vanish to the vanishing point. So I'm going to take the top of it and vanish to that side. And I'm going to vanish this to that side. Now I'm getting really close to my horizon. So it's not going to look like I'm making angles because I'm really close to that horizon. And, and the closer you get to the horizon, the flatter your angles are going to be. Okay, so then I could connect that box with this box that I just made and now it's all part of that building and really this has a top to it but you're not going to be able to see very much of it so here's the corner of that and it's going to vanish that way here's the corner of that and it's going to vanish the opposite way so there's the top okay then you don't need to see all that stuff any questions email me